Hi! Welcome to my channel. I went to a coding bootcamp myself and I wanted to film this video to share things that you should know before signing up for one. Even if you are already enrolled in a coding bootcamp, this video will help you out. Let's go straight into my first point. Not everyone will get through. There were a couple of students in my batch during the bootcamp who kind of disappeared throughout the bootcamp. This might be for a personal reason like they got sick or after trying coding for a couple of weeks, they found out that coding is not for them. Don't take this too much as a discouragement that you cannot make it through because you totally can if you put in the effort. But I am just trying to say that signing up for a bootcamp doesn't necessarily mean that you will automatically complete it. Point number two, it's intense but doable. Bootcamps are known to be fast and intense with weeks filled of non-stop learning. And this is true, but it's not too bad as long as you show up every day ready to learn, do all the work, and ask for help when you are stuck. It's not like we were coding every day from 6 a.m. till midnight. My coding bootcamp that I went to started at 9 a.m. and we were done by 6 p.m. Monday through Friday and I have weekends off. We had some flashcards to do after we went home, but I still had time to eat dinner, watch some YouTube videos, hang out, and get 7-8 to eight hours of sleep every night. As long as you are dedicated and work every day, you will get through the bootcamp and you shouldn't feel too scared that the bootcamp will give you impossible amount of workload. Point number 3, students have different starting points. The bootcamp might say that there's no prerequisites for joining the bootcamp but it doesn't mean that all the students in your batch will be starting at the same point. There will be some students who have prior coding experience. They might have taken an online course on their own, or they might already have a computer science degree, but it's just from 10 years ago, so they need a refresher. And there will be students who have never seen a line of code before, which leads me to my next point. Number four, you will be comparing yourself to your classmates. I am not encouraging you to compare yourself to other classmates at all, but I'm just saying that you will most likely be comparing yourself to someone next to you at some point in the course. It's natural. If there's a classmate who's really good at coding, don't feel too bad about yourself because they most likely had some prior coding experience before joining the bootcamp. Instead of feeling jealous or discouraged, you can turn that into an inspiration. Ask them what they did before the bootcamp, how they code, what they like about coding, if they practice after they go home, etc. And instead of spending too much time comparing yourself to others, spend the time learning. And think about where you started from and how much progress you have already made because some people just take a bit longer to absorb the information. Point number five, you're not automatically a pro after the bootcamp. Although bootcamps are known for being highly intensive, they are usually 9 weeks, 12 weeks, maybe 6 months at the longest. The bootcamp will give you the foundations to get started, but you will have to continue learning after the bootcamp ends. I was given a ton of information during the bootcamp and I couldn't master everything during the bootcamp. And even after you become a developer, technology is constantly changing and getting updated, so you will have to continue challenging yourself to learn new things. There's also students who go through the entire bootcamp and after the bootcamp they just apply to a bunch of roles like hundreds and hundreds of roles and don't get an offer and end up giving up and they go back to their old role or they switch their careers again. There were students in my cohort who were also planning to go to university after the bootcamp so they were not looking for jobs afterwards. And I am not trying to discourage you that you cannot become a developer if that's your goal because you totally can but I'm just trying to make a point that students go to different paths for various reasons. Point number seven, take success rates with a grain of salt. Many bootcamps will advertise that 90% or 95% of their class got a job after graduation within three months. But keep in mind that this number is oftentimes mixed with other jobs. A student might have found a job as an IT support specialist or a social media manager and there's nothing wrong with that. But just keep in mind that many bootcamps will count those jobs when calculating the employment rate. Point number eight, your first job won't be your dream job. I am so grateful for my current job, which is the first job I got out of the bootcamp and I truly love it. But just keep in mind that you will most likely not be working at somewhere like Google or Meta right after the bootcamp. 
I am not saying that it is impossible, but I am just trying to be realistic and giving you a heads up that you might first need to work at a smaller size company to gain some experience first if you're trying to get into one of those big tech companies. Okay, point number nine, it may not be for everyone. Just because it worked for your friend doesn't mean that it will work for you. Coding bootcamp might be a good choice if you like a structured environment with a set curriculum, exercises, and schedule. But if you're someone who likes to go at your own pace and pick which topics you want to learn, you might be better off self-learning. And if you're also someone who wants to get a diploma from a three, four year university, you might want to consider getting a computer science degree at a university instead. My last point, number 10, not all boot camps are created equal. Colleges and universities have a certain legal requirement, meaning that regardless of where you attend the university, you can expect to receive a certain level of education. But coding boot camps are privately owned and operated and not accredited. So the quality of the coding boot camp will vary a lot depending on which one you decide to attend. So you should do your own research and talk to people who went through that program before making a final decision. If you'd like to hear more about which one I attended and my coding bootcamp experience, I'll put the link here and also in the description box. I hope I shared some helpful insights if you're thinking about attending a coding bootcamp or currently in one. This video isn't to discourage any of you from attending a coding bootcamp, but I wanted to make this video to share a couple of things that you should really know before signing up for a coding bootcamp so that you don't waste your time, energy, and money. If you are dedicated, you like coding in a structured environment, and you have realistic expectations, a coding bootcamp might be a good fit for you. I'll be making more videos related to coding bootcamps and experience working in tech, so please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!